Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a Transfer Tuesday video um, and so I got this idea originally from Penny is Not Perfection. I'm not sure if she's the first one who's ever done a video like this um, but I am obsessed with hers. Uh, she does these videos to document um, how her family is making good financial moves every single week and so um, how, it's all about how you can take the little bit of extra money that you have left over for the week and um, put it towards your debts or your savings or your investing. Um, and so I thought it was a really a great idea, especially because we have some really big financial goals this year to try and document all those tiny little financial moves that we make along the way. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so let's just jump right into this. So the first thing I would like to speak about is our debts that we've paid off this past week. Um, and so we did get paid uh, this week, which is really exciting. And um, so we have a lot of bills that come out right on the day that we are paid. The first being our car loan. So we pay this every two weeks. Um, we currently owe my father-in-law just over nine thousand uh, dollars because a few years ago he did help us um, buy ourselves out of a leased car that we have and we now still have um, we originally planned on selling it uh, getting that money and paying them all back and then having the lease no longer in our name but that's not what we did um, so we are going through the process of paying him back um, we've paid him about eight thousand dollars so far um, and again we have about nine thousand dollars left so we gave him 400 this week and we are well on our way to um, paying him off by the end of 2021 which is very exciting <laughs> i'm excited no longer to owe money to family <laughs> The next thing that we did uh, this week was pay for our phone bill. Uh, so we actually pay annually for our phone bill. We're on a big family plan um, with a bunch of different family members. And so at the beginning of every year, we give in the amount that we think we'll owe for the coming year. So we paid all for 2021 which cost us $1,002 um, just this week. Um, and so we don't have to pay any more phone payments so far this month um, or year. Uh, we don't finance either of our phones. They're fully paid outright. So that's just the cost of the services um, related to like text, call, Instagram. <laughs> Uh, next uh, money move that we made was we actually paid down our mortgage escrow. Um, so if you're not really familiar with mortgages, what that means is um, some people will escrow their mortgages, which means your payment goes towards the principal you owe on the loan, the interest that you owe on the loan, and then your uh, bank will also save money for you that you pay them to pay for your home insurance and your home taxes all in one go. And at the end of every year, they go in and they decide, okay, did they pay enough or not enough for those estimated costs on both that home insurance and those property taxes. Um, and so our bank determined that we had not paid them enough in 2020 and that they planned on raising our amount that we owe them in 2021. And I was not interested in having a higher mortgage payment every month. And so since we did have a little extra money, we did go ahead and pay them and we paid them $368.85. Again, we could have ever either paid that all in full, which is what we did, or we would have paid it throughout the year. The next um, thing that we paid for was our mortgage on our rental property. So we do have two home mortgages. Um, and so a lot of times I keep my business information separate than my personal, but I will be talking about our business mortgage when we talk about um, these transfer Tuesdays, because that mortgage is in my husband's name. That house is owned by my husband and not necessarily by the 
LLC that we have. Um, and so that is technically money that we are paying down our own personal debts just with the business money, if that makes sense. Um, and so we paid $192.66 to the principal of that loan. And then we also paid $417.00 and 35 cents towards the interest. Um, so we paid a lot more towards our principal than our interest. That's just because we're earlier on in the loan. Um, so you may you pay a lot more interest on the upfront of any mortgage that you take out. The next payment that we made was also to our a mortgage, just it was the mortgage of the house that we live in currently. That one had $323 and 83 cents go to principal and we paid six hundred and seventy dollars and fifty eight cents to the interest so that interest is pretty high right now we also have pmi mixed in there as well so that's about a hundred dollars that just goes out the window every single um, month but hopefully we'll be able to um decrease our principal enough where we won't have to pay um that PMI forever. The next debt that we paid was on our 401k loan. Um, we did get paid this week and so like I said earlier um, we do pay a lot more for our debts whenever we get a paycheck. So we did pay $57.31 to that 401k loan. It was originally taken out um, in order to purchase the home that we currently have unfortunately the perfect house came on the market just a little bit earlier than what we had planned for um, and so we did have to um, take out money against our 401k in order to purchase this home um, but we absolutely love it and we made a great decision um, we were planning to instead of purchasing in the end 2019 we were going to buy in the summer of 2020 and I think we all know what's happened in the summer of 2020 um, people have been losing their jobs left and right but for some reason for some weird reason um, the housing prices in our area have gotten so incredibly high um, and so the value of our house has actually gone up by over $30,000 just in our first year of living here. Um, so luckily we bought it before the market got really crazy. And next we will be talking about some of our savings and investing moves that we've made this week. Again, we did get paid this week. So we do contribute to each of our individual 401ks through our employers. Um, and so that I think totals right around $300, but it's 9% of our income, including our employer match. Next um, is our, our sinking funds that we contributed to. The first was our school sinking fund. Um, and so I am starting an MBA program coming up in 2021. Um, I am starting classes actually in just a few weeks at my local community college uh, because I do get to take some of those classes there. So we're saving a little bit of cash by doing that. We've already paid for this coming semester um, and we've also now after this week have $600 put away to pay for our summer semester. So for the rest of the year, we only have to focus on saving up for both the fall and the spring of 2022. Um, those semesters will be a little bit more expensive because they'll be the official MBA classes, uh, but definitely um, say, uh, subscribe um, in order to see how we go about paying um, for those school expenses. Next is our phone sinking fund. So even though we paid that $1,000 for our 2021 uh, phone bill, we are saving up for our 2022 phone bill already. And we put $40 away for that. And last but not least, our taxes sinking fund. So in April, we are estimating to owe just about $11,000 in taxes to the federal government this year. Um, I think I messed up my W-4, um, which kind of decides what your withholdings are uh, for your paycheck. Um, and we've currently given to our federal taxes about $700 between the two of us. Um, and we make more money than that 
that that makes sense for. <laughs> um, and so I'm currently estimating it to be right around $11,000 that we're going to end up owing the federal government specifically um, in April. So we are saving up towards that. We only were able to put away $200 this week, but that's a great dent. Um, any, any extra money will definitely help um, because we're really hoping to cash flow that expense, even though we weren't really planning um, on having that huge tax bill um, until December when I looked into our paychecks and realized, oh no, these numbers. I'm no accountant, but these numbers just don't make sense. Um, so definitely, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, and again, if you're interested in following along on um, my and my husband's financial journey, um, please do subscribe. Um, we would really love to have you here. Uh, and if you have um, any big money moves you've made this week, definitely leave a comment down below um, and let me know. I would love to celebrate your wins with you. Thank you. Bye.